Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob, and uh, today I guess we're going to start on cutting this into pieces. Um, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get away with just making it a two-piece, but <clears throat> it's so heavy that it's a good possibility that I may have to do this in a three-piece, make this a three-piece gun cap. Uh, so we have to pick the spot where we want to cut it. Uh, we want each piece to still be, have its strength. Uh, so basically what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to cut this right here. The top piece has got this piece here that mounts in there. It's got the top, the sides, and this one would be pretty strong by itself. So we're going to make, we're going to try to make a cut right here. But before we do, what we're going to do is take a piece, I got a bunch of this, now we can sand this and paint it or stain it or something, uh, I don't know what we'll do, uh, we'll make something work, but we can cut a piece to go there and we can cut a piece to go across here, now we'll mount this to the top piece, so that way when we go to cut it, we'll cut it halfway, alright, and then this will screw to the top piece. Now this piece will always be with the top piece, so when we go to set that down on this piece, this will ride in this cradle. So then we'll do the same thing, now we'll do that all the way around, and then we'll do the same thing down here on the bottom. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I had thought about cutting it up here, but instead, because if I do that, then this is going to be pretty weak, and we don't want any weakness in this. So, what we'll do is come down here and cut this and do the same thing right here. This will also give me a chance to put a thing in here, a board, so that I can put drawer slides here and uh, put a drawer in here. At least that's the thoughts. May not have to, may not do that, I don't know. But we'll see how heavy it is once we take and do this part. If it's still too heavy from here down, then we're going to have to make it a three piece. And that's probably where I'll cut it because then it's got this piece here will have this as a support and it will have this shelf as a support. The top part has its own support because it's so short and there's no flex not a whole lot. Now um, we may go with a plywood backing instead of this uh, paneling. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's just a little paneling. So we may turn this into plywood and that will strengthen it also. So the plywood will go from here up and then I'll have a separate piece of plywood going from here down to wherever I cut down here and then the next piece of plywood will go from here down for this piece so this piece here will have its own backing this piece here will have its own backing and that piece will have its own backing so
that's the that's the idea is to just make this piece here one piece this piece another piece and then the bottom will be another piece and we we probably are going to put wheels on it uh, I've got these wheels that came off of uh, a uh, office chair and them, them wheels are pretty tough so we're going to put four of those on there now those some of them are really gummed up with hair but I've got a bunch of sets of those uh, but I think it's going to be a really nice gun cabinet so what I'm getting ready to start is cutting these down to go around and that'll rest on this shelf and then I'll screw this to the top piece and then I'll cut halfway now when I cut remember this is going to be resting on this shelf when I go to cut it's not going to move because this is resting against the shelf and this is going to be screwed to this top piece. So when I cut it, uh, there'll be a gap. All right. Once, uh, once I get it cut, all I have to do is just lift it off of there. It's already ready. It's done. So uh, I can lift it off there or set it over on the truck and then I can go down here and cut this one and do the same thing. So uh, that'll give me three pieces. So uh, yeah, it's a little extra work that I didn't want to do, but what do you got to do? You got to do what you got to do, right? So uh, let me get my stuff together here. I just got up and out and about, had to chase my dog around because she thought she don't need to listen. Uh, I, I can't stand a dog on a lead. I've been trying to give her freedom and uh, let her run without a lead, but she don't like to stay around the house. She likes to wander. She's a wonder dog, and you can holler at her till the cows come home, and she'll ignore you like you ain't nothing. Uh, so anyway, that's how my day's been. So we're going to try to get this maneuvered in a place where I can get all the way around it and uh, get these put in and go from there. Alright guys, what we're going to do Right, so what we're going to do is we've got our pieces cut to fit and a 45 to the end and that way when I go to screw the back on I can just put a screw in here and go into the back um, and then this piece here will go right there like that now I'm going to put screws at the top so I'm going to split this in half or I'm going to uh, draw a line in the middle and that will be where I'm going to make my cut on the other side uh, then from the middle to this I'm going to split that in half and that's where I'm going to put my screws to the top half so that will connect this to the top half so this is resting on this floor piece right here and um, when I go to cut my cut it ain't going to fall.
Alright, now we've got some screws coming through. I just gotta get shorter screws. Uh, until then, these will have to work. So, uh, what we're doing now is we're gonna mark the center, which I've already done this side, uh, the center of this, so that we can take the skill saw and set it to the thickness of this and not go through this. It's okay if it goes into it a little bit, but we don't want it to go past a quarter, three quarters of an inch. And we're gonna cut that line right across there, all the way around. And these screws are for when I go to set it in place, these will screw it down uh, so that it doesn't move. And then when we go to move or something like that, we just take and unscrew them bottom screws and I'll mark that, remove screws to disassemble, and then I'll mark this, do not remove screw. So, that'll work pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, marking this over here, and the next thing you see will be uh, me cutting it. All right, now we get to cut it. guys we have we have a separated top so now all I have to do is lift it off and I can set it back in place when I'm done Is that not slick or what? So now I gotta figure out if I'm gonna be strong enough to lift this off of there. Cause I'm gonna tell you, this thing ain't right at all. Any piece of it. So. Alright, we got the top part off. Now, it might be manageable. Might not have to do a second uh, piece. Uh, we're going to try to get this up in the house. And once I get it in the house, uh, then I can start uh, working on adding stuff to it. 
I just want to get it out of the weather because it, it looks like it's getting ready to rain and this is over pressed board and if it gets wet you might as well just scrap the job because it ain't going to happen so you know I want to get it in the house if I have to cut in the house that's fine I got a vacuum cleaner I can clean the carpet up uh, but I don't want this to get wet so here's my doors for down there on the bottom and I might not put a drawer in here because if I do then I won't have a place to put my well yeah I still would if the drawer was deep enough I don't know yet what I'll do uh, it'd be nice if I did have some drawers down there uh, to put ammo and stuff like that in and in the bottom I can use it for uh, putting scope boxes because I keep all the scope boxes uh, big stuff like uh, small backpacks or whatever uh, but I'm going to try to get this in the house and then we'll start doing some work on it alright guys we got it in here had to use this dolly I made or cart uh, those are the wheels off my toolbox which I never use and two big old boards and a two couple two fours and of course I made that a long time ago when I was working on that air compressor but anyway we got the two pieces in here remember we cut it right there and now we got a way to screw it down so it won't come loose it ain't going nowhere anyway may not ever need them but if I, if I do they're there but temporarily you know I got the light on but temporarily I went and put a um, just a blanket up on the back side of this just until I can get some material to uh, make that just stapled it up once I get it in place and that light off you won't see it it'll, it'll look pretty good a uh, light shining through it makes it look shitty because of these here spots but um, anyway we've got it in here and we ain't got much room on the top I can tell you that so we're going to set this thing in place this a two-piece by rights I should have made it three-piece and I ain't none too sure I'm not going to eventually uh, maybe if I ever move I'll make it three-piece uh, just depends on how hard it is to get out of here uh, I got it in here by myself and it was a trick I'm telling you it was a, it was a trick uh, to get that thing up on this dolly I had to put a two by six on the steps and slid the edge of it up on the tube six and pulled it got up on top of it and pulled it up the steps and once I had the whole bottom on the tube six then I went around to the other side and pushed it up the steps far enough to where it would teeter totter and when I got it to where it teeter totter you know uh, I could slide it up on the board further once I got it up on the porch then I just lifted the one end, slid this here dolly underneath of it, and then I just rolled it in the house. Uh, that was the best way to do it with the, as little effort as possible. I mean, it was a little effort getting it up the steps, but once I got it up the steps, man, it, it was pretty smooth sailing. 
it's a little awkward because it's a corner piece. If it had been a complete square, shit, I'd have had this thing in here a long time ago. But I wanted this cabinet. I like this cabinet, and I think it's going to make a good gun rack. Uh, I got plenty of storage. Yes, it's big, but don't you know bison goes big? <laughs> yeah, bison don't mess around. But I want to hang, I want to hang some dream catchers in here somewhere. Might uh, hang a dream catcher here. Uh, maybe one on the side here. I don't know. Yeah, I might just put them right there. But I think that'll look pretty decent. I got two of them here I can put in there. And then that one. So, uh, at any rate, there it is. Bison's way of turning something that somebody's going to throw away into something that ain't going to get thrown away. And we saved something from going to the dump to fill up a hole that's going to get full and they'll have to start all over somewhere else and then by the time the dump's done, the world's over, it'll just fall apart. <laughs> I hope I'm not around when that happens. But uh, I'm just going to clean it up now and I'm going to leave it the way it is and find my felt. I got green felt for inside the routed out holes and then I've got green felt the same felt to go around the whole thing here so I'm just going to go all the way around this with the felt and uh, probably glue it on and maybe yeah I'm going to have to glue it on so uh, that's it for this one you guys have a good one don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to hit that button over there, there somewhere, right there. <laughs> so, y'all have a good one. Later.